Doubles Pickleball Strategy 101 How to Play Smart Pickleball 10 Basic Tips In this video we will show you how to play smart or high percentage pickleball. The biggest thing holding back most intermediate players is not their ball striking skill. Instead it's failing to understand smart play. Before we get started with the specifics Let's talk about a main strategy objective of pickleball, which is getting your team to the net as quickly as possible. In this way, doubles pickleball is like doubles tennis. The team at the net has a huge advantage over players who are back in the court. So, most of the key strategy tips we will list are aimed at securing the overall strategy of getting your team to the net while keeping the other team away from it. Starting out, I'll go over the smart strategy shot by shot, starting with the serve. For this lesson, we will assume that all four players have equal skill. Tip number six, shot number four. Play the fourth shot so as to hinder opponent forward progress. Let's assume your opponent made a great drop shot on the third shot of the game. Your opponents are smartly scrambling toward the net after hitting the soft drop shot. Unless they are fast, they may not get fully to the net by the time you're ready to hit the fourth shot. In other words, they are caught in no man's land. The best strategy is to hit a shot that will land at the left foot of the left player that is, making a low shot to the backhand. Specifically, aim for this point. Such shots are awkward to hit and they help stymie forward progress. If your opponent returns your shot, he can likely follow it so as to be fully established at the net before the fifth shot is made. Now let's assume your opponents are fast and are at the net before you can hit the fourth shot. In this case, you should play a dink shot as described in the next tip. Tip number seven, net play. Learn to dink and avoid giving the other team a shot. Suppose all four players are now properly positioned at the net. For beginning and intermediate dinkers, the best strategy is to dink conservatively and wait for your opponent to make an error. At this close range, the last thing you want to do is provide your opponent a ball that they can smash. Instead, you want to produce dink shots that land in the no volley zone and which require your opponent to hit up on the ball. In other words, feed your opponent short dink shots that they can't do anything with offensively. The safest shots are usually to the opponent's backhand. The net play described here is like a Mexican standoff and it can go on for a long time, but it ends suddenly when somebody hits a poor shot. Absolutely avoid providing a high ball to an opponent's forehand. Likewise, seize the opportunity to make a smash or body shot if a high shot comes your way. More advanced players place their dink shots so as to move their opponents and create holes in the coverage. For example, moving an opponent to the sideline can create a hole between the opponents. Review. Now let's go through a quick review of how the first five shots of pickleball are played when they are played smartly and successfully. The serve is made to this point to the center of the box. The key is to avoid a service fault. The return is made to this point, forcing a backhand return. Again, the key is to avoid losing this point. After hitting this shot, the service return player quickly advances to the no volley zone line to be alongside his partner. The third shot is a drop volley into the no volley zone. We aim to hit it here, forcing a backhand return. Both players follow the third shot, making as much forward progress as possible. The fourth shot is a dink if both opponents are at the net. If they are not, the fourth shot goes low to the left player's backhand to stymie their forward progress. 
By the fifth shot, all players should be at the net and likely a dinking game begins. Here are some video clips that show the shot sequences described above that lead up to the dinking game. 